Greetings, Dr. Laporta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favourite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate uh, Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Zilch, I didn't know you had a brain. <laughs> Man, I wish you were here for that joke, Bobby.
Maybe I should let JT have some time alone before I return this brain.
Yo, Quentin. Good to see your brain again. I told you I'd get your brain back. Phoebe's 
brain is warmer than the others. like it's gonna budge. Get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. jar in my backpack. To think that every cell in Nil's brain is dedicated to the ladies.
small as Vernon's brain holds so many boring stories. <laughs> Worthless! These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, they're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lobato. Really? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? <laughs> Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not going to bring you any more brains if you're going to be so no matter what I do? No, no matter what? Not even if I... No, don't! Not even if I no, cook you a little... Doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! A nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. no! Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Pokey up here! Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure? No! All right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles! Turtles that you love! Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo! Or Mr. Pokey Love becomes Mr. Smokey Love! <laughs> Smokey loaf. <laughs> when you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. working for as a deranged lunatic. I know. I hate him. But if I don't do what he says, you... You... Cook your little turtle from the inside out. <coughs> Shigor, hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. He always tells me what to do. I did. We gotta get you out of here. Look! The coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh man, I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less phlegmy. Wait, he didn't just hear. Ah! Get away from me! Stop reading my mind! Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock.
That poor little turtle. If only I could reach in there and save him. But... But I can't. Mr. Pokelo, if you could move just under that hole there, then I can lift you straight out. Could you do that for me? Huh? That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now here's what we're gonna do. of an adult brain without surgery is... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them... We can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Ms. Zanato here out of her restraints. Finally! If that thing gave me a cowlick, Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's going to take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! 
You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So trust me, I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! Sasha! We get to kill him too! Uh, well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Boyd! Long time no see! Oh, Mr. Orderly! <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. I was ready for that one! Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. 
Evie. <laughs> Evie. Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather down there? Ah, finally! Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah. But only one can win! <laughs> Can't get a good grip. Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? You have to TK rubble against rubble. Break a hole big enough in the first ring so you can get in and set fire to the inner ring. Then TK a hunk of masonry right on that idiot's brain. Nothing more to report at this time. Cruller out. <laughs> Rip. 
Super. Sneezing. Powder. Ugh. Try not to sneeze. Have to hold it in. This is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. <laughs>